The moon, our closest celestial companion, shining upon us for billions of years. It seems familiar, just a lifeless rock in the sky. But if you look closer, it's not just a piece of stone. It's one of the greatest mysteries humanity has ever faced. Where did the moon come from? Why is its surface covered with craters? Yet there's no wind, no rain, no signs of life. And most mysterious of all, why does it always show us the same face? Could something or someone be hiding on the dark side? From the ancient Egyptians to modern scientists, the moon has always symbolized magic, divinity, and fear. The Egyptians saw it as the Eye of Thoth, the Chinese the home of the goddess Chang'e, and the Sumerians believed it was a portal between worlds. But here's the strange part. In recent decades, space missions have discovered things that defy our understanding. As if the moon isn't an actual satellite at all, but something built or left behind long ago. Quest for knowledge. When Apollo astronauts first orbited the moon, they saw what no human had ever seen before, the far side. The surface looked completely different. Fewer seas, more craters, and vast dark regions like ancient scars. But the real mystery began when NASA started receiving strange radio signals. For several minutes, the connection between the spacecraft and Earth was lost. And during that time, the crew heard unexplained sounds. They described it as space music, as if someone was playing a haunting melody in the void. Later, these recordings were released to the public, and even modern scientists couldn't explain them. Interference? Radiation? Or something else? Some researchers believe the moon might be hollow inside, when spacecraft modules crashed onto its surface, the moon rang like a bell, as if it were made not of solid rock, but metal or something hollow. Could the moon actually be an artificial structure placed in orbit long ago? Who could have built it, and why? The answers might change everything we think we know about humanity and the universe itself. The idea that the moon could be artificial sounds incredible, but what's even stranger is that ancient civilizations already hinted at it. In Sumerian texts, over 5,000 years old, there are references to a time when there was no moon in the sky. One inscription says, there were days when the world was lit only by the stars, and then came the great lamp that became a friend to Earth. If that's not a myth, then it means the moon appeared later perhaps even brought here. Some researchers suggest that ancient gods or maybe another civilization could have created or moved the moon to stabilize Earth's climate, slow its rotation, and make life possible. It sounds like science fiction, but the moon does stabilize Earth's tilt, giving us seasons, tides, and a steady environment. Without it, life as we know it might never have existed. So the question remains, is the moon just a natural remnant of cosmic collision or an engineered creation placed here by someone watching long before civilization began? After the Apollo missions, NASA received thousands of photos and hours of footage from the moon's surface. But a large part of that material was never fully released. Some images disappeared Others were edited and only copies remain in archives. Even with what we have, the questions are endless. Certain photos show strange geometric structures, straight lines, shadows, and shapes that resemble buildings. Independent researchers claim these could be remnants of ancient bases or unknown craft. There's more. Apollo 11 astronauts reported flashes of light on the horizon as if someone was watching them. In some recordings, voices and fragments appear that never made it into official transcripts. One crew member even said, they're there, they're watching us. NASA later called it a communication error, but was it really? 
Images from the Clementine and the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter missions also show anomalous objects, perfect domes, triangular shadows, and even bright metallic shapes that later disappeared from public maps. What is the moon hiding? And why did major nations stop sending humans there after the 1970s? Maybe the answer lies right there, on that silent gray surface where human footprints fade quickly, but the secrets remain for eternity. More than 50 years have passed since humanity last set foot on the moon. After Apollo 17 in 1972, everything went silent. The moon became a quiet reminder of what we once achieved, a symbol of an age when humanity dreamed of the stars and truly believed that colonizing space was just around the corner. But time moves on, and now everything is changing again. NASA has launched a new mission, the Artemis Program, named after Apollo's twin sister. This time, the goal is far greater, not just to visit the moon again, but to stay there, to build bases, laboratories, and habitats, to turn the moon into a launch pad for Mars and beyond. Alongside NASA, private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Astrobotic are joining the race. This is no longer just a competition between nations. It's a new space era where private engineers and dreamers compete with governments to write the next chapter of history. Officially, the reasons are scientific and practical. Scientists say the moon holds the key to our future energy needs. Its surface contains vast reserves of helium-3, a potential fuel for clean nuclear fusion. And in the shadows of its craters, frozen water has been discovered. Water that could be turned into oxygen, drinking supplies, and even rocket fuel. In short, the moon could become a refueling station for the solar system. But not everyone believes the official story. Some researchers and theorists claim the truth runs much deeper, that humanity is returning to the moon not just for science, but because of what might already be there. A number of theorists argue that the moon might be artificial. Its orbit, density, and the strange ringing sound recorded when meteors struck it. All of these led some to believe that the moon could be hollow or contain unknown structures inside. Others point to mysterious signals detected from the far side of the moon, signals that seemed too regular, too patterned to be random. Official sources dismiss them as interference, yet the mystery remains. Then there are the transient lunar phenomena, strange flashes of light, glowing patches and moving shadows seen across the lunar surface. Scientists have observed them for centuries, and modern telescopes continue to record them even now. NASA acknowledges they exist, but offers no clear explanation. So, what causes them? Gas eruptions? Micrometeor impacts? Or something we don't yet understand? And so, as new missions prepare for launch, as satellites, map every crater and ridge. One can heart but wonder, are we returning to the moon for science or to quietly revisit something we once found and chose to hide? Because isn't it strange? After decades of ignoring the moon, suddenly every major space agency is racing back there. Why now? What changed? What if this time humanity isn't just looking for resources, but for answers to questions that have been with us since the beginning of time? So, 
when the first astronauts of this new era take their steps across the dusty lunar surface, perhaps we'll finally learn not only how far we can go, but why we ever went there in the first place. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of the moon, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Your support helps us grow and create more stories about space, science, and the unknown. Together, let's keep exploring the secrets of the universe.